Hi, welcome to the Shirena Drawing School, and uh, I'm going to show you um, how I put my flash covers together. This is a, a cover on the right here, a finished cover of uh, Viking Vic and the Wolves, and uh, and this on the left hand side is the actual flash uh, file that um, that I, I did it in. The flash is a, a, an interesting program which was originally designed for animation, but I kind of got into it for illustration. Um, and uh, it's all built up on layers. So if I go to the bottom layer here, I can switch it off. Oh, and, and the whole background is gone because that was built up as one picture. Uh, and there, oh, Vic has disappeared. So um, what else can we, we can get rid of his sword there. Um, and we can get rid of some of that shadow. And that's just about everything there. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll zoom in here. And look, can you see this square box around it? That means that the shield is a library object uh, and it exists on its own, so I can just move it out of the way. Um, there's a blue box around his body, so that's just the same. Uh, same for his arm and his hand. Oop, <laughs> gone into his hand there. Uh, his hand and the, the, the shaft of his, the, the, the hilt of his um, sword. And that's just a bit of shadow that's hanging around. So let me go into his face um and this has a blue box around it again which means that this is a library object on its own so if i double click on it i go into the library object and it has its own set of layers up at the top here uh if you can see i don't I hope you can follow the arrow around if i'm <laughs> zooming it around so um at the top you can see that the shadow is already turned on and off and i can turn off the highlight oh uh, i can turn off the highlight on his hair like that I can turn off the front of his hair. I can turn off his facial features. I can turn off his face. I can turn off him completely. So let's put his hair back and his face and his eyes and his things. So and zoom in just on this part here. And uh, the great thing about library objects is that you can see this eyeball here is, um, is a library object. So I can move those independently to make so I can have him looking wherever I want him to be make him look wherever I want him to and um, but this being a library object on its own uh, means that it's editable and I can take that little white object there and move it there that makes it look a bit anime doesn't it that kind of style uh, if I kind of choose that color there and then I can oh now I'm looking going on the wrong side hang on I don't want that blue <laughs> I want to, uh, I can't remember how do I do this. Uh, I'll choose black and then uh, I want that white. So I've completely moved where the eyeball is. Um, and also I can, uh, because I'm in the object, if I move it over here, then this one the, on the other side will move too. And that's because it's an exact copy. So if I come out of there and then go into the eyeball, um, you'll see there's a black line around it and as the arrow comes close to it there's a little curve comes on which means I can drag it uh, and I can change the shape of the whole picture and again because it's a library object it happens on the other side too which does look a little bit strange doesn't it so uh, I'll put that back and and basically um, this is how Flash is is built up by uh, by drawing lines and pulling them and shaping them and changing them and you can see he's now looking a little bit cross but at the same time I've got his mouth there as um, kind of I, I can change it to a little happy smile you know and and, and it's just infinitely variable <clears throat> I've only got 43 seconds left so <laughs> I'm gonna say there you go uh, I'll maybe show you some more about flash later and uh, I hope that kind of got whetted your interest uh, keep coming back to the shoe rainer channel drawing channel on YouTube and shoe-tube.com where you should be able to see this in schools and libraries so uh, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, it was interesting Keep coming back and I'll see you next time. Bye.